Well, Garcia Marquez was the premier writer in the Spanish language uh, in the world, really. In 2007, I took a trip to Aracataca, his hometown on the Caribbean coast. He brought that town to life. Uh, it was the inspiration for Macondo, the village in 100 years of solitude. I went there on the occasion of his 80th birthday. They were hoping that he would come and arrive by train perhaps, and uh, uh, it was a little sad. He never showed up. There was a huge sense of uh, disappointment. They went through with their celebration anyway and had an amazing time. Uh, there were people singing in the plaza. There were, there were odes to Garcia Marquez. Everyone who's read especially his seminal work, 100 Years of Solitude, remembers the experience of that book. He was a master at explaining things through, through these characters, which just seemed so incredibly human, yet he still lived in this magical world that he created. And in doing so, he gave voice to uh, people who were clearly very oppressed. Uh, Garcia Marquez began as a journalist, which was uh, to influence his work throughout his long career. He was a leftist, he was a friend and an admirer of Fidel Castro in Cuba. And through his uh, writing, not only his literature, but also his journalism, he championed certain causes. Garcia Marquez was hugely important, especially in Colombia, even though he lived in exile in Mexico for decades. He participated in peace talks in Colombia. He was forced to uh, abandon Colombia when the government suspected him of helping uh, the M-19 guerrilla organization. Um, yet he kept on coming back. And Colombians just have this huge uh, admiration for Garcia Marquez. With Garcia Marquez's death, I mean, there's a passing of an era in Latin America. I mean, for many people around the world, Latin America almost is Garcia Marquez. I mean, he's their introduction to the region's culture, to its politics, to its history.